Greetings, everybody. For my fourth Battletech video, I decided to do something that could be useful in Battletech, Dungeons & Dragons, Pathfinder, any role-playing game, um, any combat game. This program is called Hetzographer. I'm using the free version, by the way. Uh, we have a campaign that we uh, use. Did you see Randall Snyder posting to this website, to the uh, uh, Central Florida Battletech Facebook group website? And this is how you create maps for that site. Uh, first of all, you are going to select 35 as your width. And let's see, 40 here, 48, 42, true columns, solid, 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 solid. All right, once you set it up for 35 width, hex width, 40 height, you come down here and generate map. And what it'll do is it'll be creating a map, a generic map for you to start with. I'm waiting for it to happen. It created it on my diff on a different screen. Let me move it over there. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. All right. So this is hex hexographer in a nutshell. Okay. A lot of water. I uh, like. Okay, so that's part one. Getting a generic map out there. You can obviously come here and take and create more water and the like. Change it however you like. Uh, but I'm going to start and I'm going to create a map for the Battletech game. Now, let's see. I need... Here we go. Shoals, no. Don't need ice, I need, here we go. Totally blank. What I'm doing with blank is I'm gonna set up a, a set of, uh, an area where I can set up a town of some sort. I'm gonna set that up there. Make it a fourth. Then I'm going to come on over here on the map and I'm going to, maybe not. Oh, let's do some fixing here. Yeah. There we go. Island, now I can come back and create a town here. Okay. Now let's go over and do the symbols, icons, excuse me. That was terrains. Ah, we have icons for what we want to do. In the Battletech world, we need to start with a town. Uh, this would work as our main town. And we'll create a smaller one over here. And then we'll take this villages and create a village um, here along the coast, uh, over here along the coast, up here. And let's see, down here. Oh, we got plenty of space down here. Um, right here, that'll work. And because I have a village there, let's make it a fishing village. Uh, same up here, little port, another port over here. And now I gotta connect these so they can get to each other. Alrighty, so we're gonna go to terrains. I'm just going to bring it down this way and then just erase all of this here. All right, there we go. And I'm going to create a little more terrain here. 
and less forested. There we go. Down there, so we have room. I really don't need much of anything over here. So I'm just going to do this and make this a mountain range and then that's some forestry there a lake there is fine that's fine <coughs> mm. this this just make it here a little more shallow in this area okay same here here i have to put the anchor back in this area simple icons anchor there all right deep water there that works that works there okay now let's add things to the map let's see church religious a let's see as you can see they have animals here including dragons dinosaurs centaurs catapults giants the like uh, but i'm looking for something in something fun to add let's see about a where is it i know it's here somewhere ah there we go a factory business here here we got a port here we got a little bit of cheer we need something here and why don't we make it a fortress make this like a military like force and over here we need something interesting and different um no 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 palace it's a little too much i think oh I, I got it i got it a jump ship port okay all righty now how do we get to where we're going that's the next thing so let's do some stylized lines and let's do this uh, new line and let us start here whoops select line start here and go from here to I'm trying to get this to work, but I don't. Start here. New line from here. All right, maybe not. I'm having a problem with the lines here for a second, guys. It's been a while since I used this. I created the map I wanted to use a little while ago. Copy. Copy. There we go. Line, line. No. Ah, oh, there it goes. And then here. 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 Through the mountains. Okay. Then we're going to go here here across to here and then here cross to here 
All right. I'm trying to link everything together. And then from this point, well, didn't want that, so remove last point. Okay. Let's new line. Start here. Start here. Maybe not. Hmm. Well, anyway, that's how you create a line. You eventually want to connect all the lines together, put more little towns around here, maybe uh, throw something like a, um, a prison on this island out here, like a little bit of an Alcatraz, and add other items to your map. And as you do, you build it up. One of the things that we also do is we add uh, custom line, styled lines, these type of lines to the beginning of a town, and we go out 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's going to be 9. That's not going to work. Down here, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. Then... We go up 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We come back, go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, down there. And we make ourselves a grid. Okay, that didn't, that's not what I wanted. Remove last, remove last point. Okay. Well, that's not letting me remove it. But anyway, you get the idea. You get the general idea. Uh, select line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I'm going to have to do it this way. Uh, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. Well, anyway, you, you, what you want to do is make a hex. Let me open a file to give you an idea because it's taking a little bit longer than I wanted to take for this video. Let's see. Um, upload. And upload map. Okay, I'm having an issue here because it's giving me options. Export, select area, upload, quick upload, print, print area, select, and print PDF tools. Expand options. Okay, it's not letting me open a map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this screen and this program right now. Do you wish to close yes and I'm going to open a map that I created a while ago whoops it's not there hexographer hexographer hex maps and where is it here we go this is the most this is um, rookbot this should open up and it is, but on a different, uh, okay, let me open it up over here. This is Ruckbot, one of the, the first map I made, and now two people have played on this particular planet. This is what I was trying to do. I was trying to connect this. On this one, I did, I did not connect all the way through. Um, I did on this and partially here. But as, I, as you can see, wherever there's a turret or a main city, and that's a capital city, there is an air defense group around it. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is basically uh, the Battletech map that, let's see, I faced both Bradley um, as an attacker, and uh, I also faced, uh, what's it? Um, Trying to think. Oh, yeah, my, a long time buddy, Patrick the Bot, on this map. 
It's not the nicest of maps because as you can see, I didn't create general waterways through. I didn't create land bridges um, going through. So you have to take that little ferry f fly from here to the air base here. Uh, or take uh, the navigation on the boat all the way around. I did put lighthouses on some of the straits. I have a volcano down here. I have some ruins here, an entire ruined city up here next to, uh, as you can see, fields, uh, naval or some type of a base there. I have oasis throughout, um, a dormant volcano, shipwrecks here and here. And I got spaceport, capital city, gunnery, a military base for armored, standard uh, base, uh, factories, 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 uh, towns, uh, villages. There's a village here. There's a couple of three, four, three villages up here. And basically, this was just a, a simple map created using that tool. I added a lot more land space. But what I didn't do is add a lot of bridge routes, a lot of roads through it, because um, I wanted it to be challenging. Uh, you have a lot of choices with the program, and I think you guys will love using it and giving it a chance. Again, you can use it for Dungeons and Dragons, for Battletech, for any war playing game, and you can create whatever sort of hex map you need in this tool i want to thank you for this opportunity to show you let me show you tell us the other map here we go this is the most recent one that i did this one i did add roads all over the places you can see and oil wells shipwrecks um i have multiple locations only part of the map is covered by air defense the rest is not I have a drop ship port here and another one up here. So you, there are two different places uh, to get off planet from. And it's just a simple map, I, I, a lot less waterway. I put land bridges instead of just bridges going across except for here, keeping it as simple as possible. Even having uh, pretty much every village has at least one route going to it on this map. This was not supposed to be red, but it, it is what it is. There is a road uh, off the off the beaten track through the woods road through there. And this is my other map that I've made so far. I'm trying to make them um, as simple as I can. Here, this should open the program. Maybe not. Okay, now it's not going to work. But anyway, th this the program is awesome. Give it a shot. Um, you don't have to purchase it. I use the free version. You have to click through to get there, but you can do so. And uh, you can import a map. Go here, hex maps. This is what I should have done at first. And let's do that's my rook bat because it's been upgraded since. Dun, bum, waiting, waiting, waiting. Load map. I did. Look back. Open. Open. There we go. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you like this type of programming, subscribe to the channel or even like the video.